now we are going to solve workbook questions so till now we have discussed about the amplitude modulation the expression of amplitude modulation the power requirement and bandwidth requirement in case of amplitude modulation the related parameters to the amplitude modulation what is modulation what is need of modulation and uh, there are different types of amplitude modulation and what is the advantage of this different types of amplitude modulation and the power saving in that type of amplitude modulation till now we have discussed this one now we are able to solve few question that has been asked in gate and this type of question may be asked in any other exam also so if you have not revised yet you revise these topics which i have discussed till now and then we will solve workbook question first of all you have to solve these questions and then you try to solve these questions and then you can match your answer with my solution and you can see the solution if i have any other different approach okay so now the first question of this workbook is consider a system shown in figure let x of f and y of f denote the fourier transform of xt and yt respectively the ideal high pass filter has cut off frequency of 10 kilohertz the positive frequency where y of f has a spectral peaks are so the system is given this is question number 1 we have balanced modulator input is x of t and the other input of balanced modulator is a sinusoidal signal of frequency 10 kilohertz now we have high pass filter this high pass filter is having cut off frequency 10 kilohertz and output of high pass filter is passed through another balanced modulator and input to this balanced modulator is 13 kilohertz and we have to find spectral peaks of this output yt and the input is x of t the input is having fourier transform okay so this is the question now this xt has fourier transform x of f and yt has fourier transform y of f and we have to find positive frequency where the spectral peaks of yt occurs so in this type of question uh, now you might be worried about the balanced modulator but the balanced modulator is nothing but it is a kind of modulator it is a kind of product modulator in which we are going to multiply the signals which is input to this system so the balanced modulator is having two inputs x of t and this 10 kilohertz so these two signals are going to multiply in this balanced modulator so the output of this balanced modulator is nothing but the multiplication of these two signals so you should not worry about this balanced modulator what is the function of balanced modulator we will see in the later on in this whole course but uh, for present you can see this is nothing but the multiplication of two signals so first of all we have to draw the spectrum in three different point first in the output of first balanced modulator and second in the output of high pass filter and third in the output of second balanced modulator so if we draw the spectrum that means the fourier transform of the 
of these three points then we can find the spectral peak at the output of second balance modulator or the output of y t. So, x of t having Fourier transform which is extended up to 3 kilohertz and it is ha it is having peak value at 1 kilohertz and the whatever will be the message signal frequency the same frequency component will also be present in the negative side. So, the mirror image of this component will be present in this side and it is also given if it is not given then we should take this negative part also whenever we going to draw. Uh, this spectrum we always take the negative and positive part of any spectrum. So, now it is going to multiply with the 10 kilohertz. So, the spectrum at point A suppose we have x t Fourier transform of x t as x of f which is given and if we multiply x t by cos 2 pi f naught t, we know that from the property of Fourier transform and we also know the modulation property or we have seen the modulation, this x of t multiplied with cos 2 pi f naught t gives 1 by 2 x of f minus f naught plus x of f plus f naught. So, because it is given that this is a sinusoidal uh, system which generates a frequency having 13 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz that is why we take this cos 2 pi f naught t. In general when uh, the component is not given we usually take cos signal we can also take sin but uh, in general we usually take cos. So, we have to draw cos of f minus f naught and the f naught is 10 kilohertz. So, this spectrum should be centered now at 10 kilohertz or should be shifted to 10 kilohertz. So, the spectrum would be at point A. at point A this is centered at now 10 kilohertz and this will be 11 here and this will be 13. Shifting right x of f minus f naught means shifting right. So, this component is nothing but x of f minus f naught term or x of f minus 10. So, the original spectrum is shifted to 10. So, this is 10, 11 and 13 and this is 9 and 7 and whatever we draw for the positive frequency whenever we multiply with the cosine signal whatever we draw for the positive frequency the mirror image will also be present in the negative side which is corresponding to the second term x of f plus f naught. So, the Fourier transform x of f minus f naught would be minus 10 the mirror image of this so this is minus 9 minus 7 this is minus 11 and minus 13 so this is the spectrum at point a and it is x of f plus f naught or you can write x of f plus 10. We are not concerned about the amplitude because we have to find the frequency at which spectral peak occurs. So, it means that we have to find only frequency. So, if I ask you about the peak value at point A then and positive frequency where the peak value occurs then it is 9 and 11 because the peak value occurs at 9 kilohertz and peak value occurs at 11 kilohertz. So, because we are more concerned about the frequency here, we are not considering the amplitude term. Now, this signal at point A pass through the high pass filter which is having cutoff frequency 10 kilohertz. So, cutoff frequency 10 kilohertz means it will pass the signal which is 
having frequency higher than 10 kilohertz. So, frequency component higher than 10 kilohertz, suppose this is the high pass filter, response of high pass filter and here it is mirror image that is minus 10 and it is greater value with negative sign. So, this is the response of high pass filter. So, the signal which is passed through the high pass filter is this term or this component and this will be rejected by high pass filter. Now, output of high pass filter would be which is spectrum at point B. So, spectrum at point B is output of high pass filter which will be the component from 10 to 13. This is the spectrum at point B. So, this is the spectrum at point B. Now, this is input to the another ba balance modulator. So, we have drawn the spectrum at point B. Now, this is input to the balance modulator and it is multiplied with another cosine signal which is having frequency 13 kilohertz. It means the original spectrum at point B will shift to 13 kilohertz. Because previously we have seen that when XT is input to the balance modulator and another input is 10 kilohertz cosine wave then the xt has been shifted to 10 kilohertz similarly the spectrum at point b will be shifted to 13 kilohertz so this signal will be shifted to plus 13 and shifted to minus 13 so if i shift it to plus 13 then i have to add the signal we have to add the frequency 13 kilohertz in this spectrum because we are going to shift in the right side and right side that means we have positive value. So, we have to add 13 in all over the axis. So, if I add 13 then we get at point C we have to consider this component the point at B is suppose x dash f minus 13 plus x dash f plus 13 divided by 2. This we have to consider because we are considering the spectrum at point B is x dash f. If I am assuming this as x dash f then it will shift to 13 and minus 13. Then if I shift this spectrum to 13 kilohertz x of f minus 13. So, this spectrum will shift to 13 and this spectrum will shift to minus 13. The origin will shift to plus 13. So, I have to take, I have to add 13 in the whole axis. If I want to shift this 0 to plus 13, then I have to add 13. And if I want to shift it into minus 13, then I have to add minus 13 because 0 minus 13 will be minus 13 and the whole axis uh, whole uh, signal will shift to minus 13 whatever will be present in the 0 that will shift to minus 13. So, if I add plus 13 in this axis then we get 13, 13, 13 and 13, yeah, 13, 13 and 13. So, now we can see that 13 minus 13 is 0 it means that this spectrum will shift to 0 and this spectrum will shift to 2 and this spectrum will be shifting to 3. this is 2, this is 3, this is 0 and the right hand side this one 13 plus 10 23, 24 and 26. So, somewhere here we will be having this is 23, 24 and 26. So, this is the component x dash f minus 13. Now, I want to draw x dash f plus 13 that will be nothing but the mirror image of this spectrum. So, if I draw the mirror image,
दिस इज माइनस टू माइनस थ्री दिस इज माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस इज द स्पेक्ट्रम एट पॉइंट सी this is mirror image of this if i fold this one i will get the same signal and i if i fold this i get this signal which is nothing but corresponding to the second term x dash f plus 13 to get x dash f plus 13 i want to shift f to minus 13 so i have to add minus 13 so if i add minus 13 in whole axis then i get this value 13 minus 13 is 0 this is minus 2 this is 3 minus 3 this is minus 13 and minus 23 minus 24 and minus 26 which is not required in this question because i have to consider only positive frequency where the spectral peak occurs at point c which is yt here we have to calculate positive frequency we have to find positive frequency where the spectral peak occurs at y of f so this is y of f this is y of f and the positive frequency where spectral peak occurs so these are the spectral peaks these are the spectral peaks so these is spectral peaks occurs at frequency 2 kilohertz and 24 kilohertz so answer would be 2 kilohertz and 24 kilohertz positive frequency where spectral peak occurs now suppose if i modify the question and if i consider a low pass filter at output of this Uh, yt here if i assume a low pass filter having cut off frequency 3 kilohertz then what will be the output of this low pass filter okay we have solved this question and our correct answer is option b okay uh, the correct answer is option b and if i change the question and if i consider a low pass filter at the output of this second balance modulator then i have to find the output at point d then the low pass filter having cut off frequency 3 kilohertz so the response of this low pass filter this is the response of low pass filter having cut off frequency 3 kilohertz this is lpf with cut off frequency 3 kilohertz so low pass filter having cut off frequency 3 kilohertz will pass the signal which is less than 3 kilohertz so the frequency component which are less than 3 kilohertz is this is at point d Minus two, minus three, and two and three. Suppose uh, if you observe this spectrum to the input spectrum, which is spectrum at input of the first balance modulator, that is x of f, was given as. Zero one three minus one minus three. So as you can observe here, if we compare these two frequency components, if we compare these two spectrum, then this is ranging from zero to two, the peak value occurring at two, and this is extended up to three. Here we are getting peak value at one, and this is one to three, which is extended to this portion. If I fold this spectrum. in this place if i fold this spectrum in this place only then i get this spectrum then i get this spectrum it means that we are having 
at the output the same frequency range which is input to the system, but now the spectrum has been folded at or flipped at its position only. The spectrum is flipped at this position only. It means we have encrypted our message signal x of t. I have given input x of t in this system, but at the output I am getting the same frequency range, but the spectrum has been flipped at its position. It means I have encrypted my message signal which is ranging from 0 to 3, but now it is having some other information or it is encrypted and if anyone find this as our input, then he cannot detect my message signal because I have been flipped it at its position itself. So, if somebody knows that my message is in the range of 0 to 3 kilohertz, but if he get this message signal, then he cannot identify or he cannot detect my message signal. So, this is the type of system which was used previously for encrypting the message signal and this type of system is called a scrambler system. So, this type of system is called a scrambler system which was used for privacy purpose in telephone communication. So, this is our first question and if this type of block diagram you see somewhere in future, then you can say that it is a scrambler system which was used for encrypting the original message signal or pri for privacy purpose in telephone. So, next is question number 2 from your workbook and the question is, in the figure m of f is the Fourier transform of the message signal mt where a is 100 hertz and b is equal to 40 hertz given v of t is equal to cos 2 pi f c t and w t equal to cos 2 pi f c plus a t where f c is greater than a the cutoff frequency of both the filters are f c and the bandwidth of the signal at the output of modulator is. So, uh, again we have the same system which was given in the question 1. In question number 1, we used balance modulator. Here it is given as product modulator that is simple a multiplier. If we multiply the two signal, we get the sum frequency and the difference frequency. So, let us draw the diagram. So, it is given like this. This is mt and this is vt which is cos 2 pi fct and the output of this is pass through the high pass filter having cut off frequency f c and again it is passing through another multiplier which is given as w t and it is having frequency f c plus a and it is passing through the low pass filter having cut off frequency f c. It is given that this is the spectrum of m t which is m of f this is 0 and b and a and this is minus b and minus a this is in hertz. So, this value of a and b is also given which is 140, okay. this is 100 and this is 40. Now, we have to find the bandwidth of this output s of t, of this output s of t we have to find bandwidth. So, bandwidth is calculated from its spectrum because uh, bandwidth is calculated from the spectrum and the positive part of spectrum in fact ok and uh, or we have some expression in the form of sin or cosine then we can find the bandwidth. So, because here it is graphical representation of this message signal is given we will try to draw the spectrum at each point and after getting the spectrum at this point from the positive side of this spectrum we can find the bandwidth. So, this will be the approach and as we have done in the previous question, this is point A 
B, C and D. At point A, this message signal spectrum which is this one has been shifted to FC. This will be shifted to FC because it is multiplied with cos 2 pi FCT. So, we get a spectrum. The origin will be shifted to FC and to shift FC, to shift the spectrum to FC, we have to add the frequency FC in the whole axis. If I add FC, then we get 0 plus FC and then FC plus B then fc plus a and this will be fc minus b and fc minus a and because fc is greater than a then it will be like this fc plus b and this is fc plus a. And this is fc minus b and this is fc minus a. This is the spectrum because of m of f minus f c because if we multiply m t with cos 2 pi f c t we get two frequency component m of f minus f c plus m of f plus f c so, m of f minus f c will be like this and m of f plus f c will be the mirror image of this spectrum so the mirror image would be This is minus Fc plus B minus Fc plus A. This is minus Fc. This is minus Fc minus A. This is minus Fc minus B. So, we get the spectrum like this at point A. Now, this spectrum at point A will pass through the high pass filter because all the filter is defined by its frequency that is why we should know that what is the input to this high pass filter, what is the frequency of input to this high pass filter. The frequency of input to the high pass filter are this and the cutoff frequency is Fc. So, the high pass filter having cutoff frequency Fc is look like this it will pass the frequency component which is higher than fc so it is higher than fc so this is the response of high pass filter high pass filter having cut off frequency fc will pass the frequency component which is higher than fc so this component will pass and this component will be rejected by high pass filter so, output of high pass filter would be this is minus F C minus B, this is minus F C minus A, this is F C plus B and F C plus A. Now, this spectrum is input to another product modulator and its other input is F C plus A. It means that now this spectrum will shift to plus minus F C plus A because this cosine is having frequency F C plus A. The spectrum at point B will shift to plus F C plus A and another will be minus fc minus a because as you can see that if the cosine is having frequency fc then the spectrum will shift to minus fc and plus fc. Similarly, if you multiply it by fc plus a then this spectrum will shift to plus fc plus a and minus fc minus a. So, if we draw the spectrum at point C,
So, if I want to shift to F C plus A, then the component at origin I have to add F C plus A, then only this spectrum will shift to F C plus A. So, if I add F C plus A in this component, if I add F C plus A in this component and if I add F C plus A in this component and in this component I get this is minus F C minus A, this is plus F C plus A. So, this minus F C and plus F C will get cancelled and minus A and plus A will get cancelled that means it will go to 0. Now, minus F C plus F C will get cancelled and we get A minus B. So, this component will shift to 0 to A minus B. So, we get 0 to A minus B, 0 to A minus B and the frequency component which was present in 0 will be F C plus A somewhere here and if I add F C plus B to F C plus A then 2 F C plus A plus B. So, if it is F C somewhere here then we get Two F C plus A plus B and two F C plus two A. If this is F C plus A, then somewhere here we have F C. Now we have to draw the mirror image of this spectrum. So, mirror image of this spectrum would be. mirror image that means if we have the frequency a minus b here then we will be having minus of a minus b here and another would be at somewhere here frequency component will be if it was 2 f c plus a plus b then it is minus of 2 f c plus a plus b and it would be 2 f c minus of 2 fc plus 2a then this will be minus 2 fc minus 2a and this is minus 2 fc minus a plus minus a minus b. So, in this way we get this spectrum and this spectrum will pass through this spectrum will pass through the low pass filter and the low pass filter having cut off frequency fc it means that the frequency component which is less than fc will pass through this filter and other components will be suppressed. So, we get this component only because somewhere here we will having f c and minus f c. So, this is the response of low pass filter, low pass filter having cut off frequency f c. The frequency component which is less than f c will pass. So, it will pass through the filter, it will pass through the filter and other components will be rejected. So, output of this low pass filter would be which is S of t or our point D and was point C this is A minus B and 0 and this is minus of A minus B. So, we have to calculate bandwidth and bandwidth is measured from positive side of a spectrum that means only this component we will consider because this is ranging from 0 to a minus b and the positive frequency is from starting from 0 to a minus b. The highest frequency component is a minus b, lowest is 0. So, the bandwidth is a minus b. This is bandwidth b w we should write because here we have used b. So, B w is equal to A minus B. So, the bandwidth is A, the value of A and B are given. The value of A is 100 and value of B is 40. So, we get bandwidth as 60 hertz. So, bandwidth of S of T, the output of the low pass filter is 60 hertz.